Hello, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today we've got a game between Railgun and Risky here on 16-bit, the latter edition. In the bottom right hand, ooh, left hand corner, it is the Red Zerg player, Risky. And in the top right hand corner, the Blue Zerg player, Railgun. Alright, so a ZVZ. Sent to me over Discord. You can find the Discord server link to my personal Discord in the description. We have about a hundred people there. If you want to talk StarCraft, Brother StarCraft 2, or Brood War, head on over and see what we have to offer. Railgun <laughs> opens up. Are you scared? Huh. Risky's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh, second guest going hatch first, but decided to follow through with it here. And doop, there you go, just a second after Railgun throws down his hatch first. Got Twitch links to both of these players in the description. Very, very excellent Zerg players if you're looking to learn how to move up the ladder as Zerg. I assume you are because uh, ZVZs are not very popular, but you clicked on this, so I assume you are Zerg looking for tips in ZVZ. Or maybe you just like ZVZ in general, the longer ones. Anyway, or heck, maybe you do like Ling versus Baneling, which is not my favorite, but heck, we'll see how this one turns out. I have to imagine we get that past that point pretty darn early, just based on the length of the replay here. You guys did see what it was when you clicked on it. I don't have an anti-spoiler screen today, so keep that in mind. This is not I did not post a five-minute ZBZ and then toss down the anti-spoiler screen on top of it. That would be uh, not very nice. It'd be a not very nice thing to do for a ZBZ. I only like to cast the ones that do get interesting. If that makes any sense. All right. Uh, Risky throws out the depends. Wait, are you... Is there a conversation here? I feel like there were some extra words. Not, he's not responding just to scared, right? Roachman, says Railgun. And there goes the Roach Warren. He times that perfectly. Roachman, he calls and immediately begins on the path towards Roaches. In fairness, he's prob probably been on the path towards Roaches the entire time. Look at this overlord. He's got wings. Why do you have wings, Overlord? You are full of a bunch of gas that keeps you afloat. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that guy. Regardless, Overlords are scouting. And ZVZs, you can do this! You can send Overlords out and not have to worry about anything shooting them down because there's only queens out this early that can shoot up. And they can't really get off creep and kill you for the most part. So send Overlords out. You can see Lings coming out to kill you. In the example of Risky here, you can see drones coming down. Extra drones possibly for proxy hatches. A lot of good stuff these overlords can see. And there's the third hatch from Risky. This is a map that is very easy to do a quick third. That is a 2 minute 50 second third base out of Risky because you can. Right? You have the standard one here you have to defend anyway on every other map. But then you can take a third back here in the very, very safe location. Which is great for Protoss and Terran and also pretty good for Zerg. Having a safe third base is nice. This Ling wants to get in Scout and see is there in fact a third base. And by golly there is and it's about 40% complete. I'm going to try to smack it down with my Zergling powers. Overlord scouting in does see... Ah, Relgan took the safe base initially and has not still s expanded down here, which I think this Overlord is too. Your Ling is broken. <laughs> no. Whose Ling is broken? This Ling is broken? Why is that Ling broken? I don't know. He's chatty though. He's real chatty in this game. For sure. Queen. Yeah. 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 Man, it takes so many kills to kill a Zergling. Or hits to kill a Zergling, but... Bit of a Ling Flood coming out here from Risky. He does, in fact, have a... I thought I saw him make a Bane Ling Nest. Was that not him? Nobody's making a Bane Ling Nest. All right, so these Lings are moving out to try to get, try to get something done without any Bane Lings, which... Good luck with that, guys, I guess. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I was going to say, no, there's definitely not a Bane Ling Nest. I swear I saw one in the production tab. Relgan is going for a Spire, though. What happened to Roachman? What happened to being a Roachman? I don't know, but holy bit of a Ling Flood here. It's not a crazy one. Worker count is the same, but these lanes are going to pick off a queen. They're going to try to kill this other queen. Nah, they're going to run in here, do some scouting around, checking stuff out. They did. The roaches are scaring them away. Did they scout this thing, though? They did scout the spire. Oh, they see the two base mutas. They see the two base spire here. I wouldn't be surprised if Railgun canceled that. If he canceled it, but he is making roaches. True to his word, he is the roach man. That is his claim to fame right now. And yeah, just drone transferring to the third base. Risky's got three bases. He's got more workers than Railgun does at 53 to 45. And he scouted the Spire. Like, I don't know what Railgun's going to do here. Unless Risky just completely fails to prepare for Mutas and loses 10 workers or so. Which would be pretty darn unfortunate for him because he saw it. Check this out. Ding! Spire. 
It's a really small footprint. It's very easy to recognize even if you didn't click on it and know what that building is. It's very small when it is in the building process. So, I don't know. Railgun is taking a third base. He's getting Gleal Reconstitution. Risky, on the other hand, is going for plus one a missile attack and a lair. And there's five mutas on the way from Railgun. So, maybe a spore crawler would be nice or some extra queens would be good. There's a Hydralisk then on the way for Risky, which is not a bad answer here. But um, at the same time, it's not going to be done very soon. And then you have to make the Hydras. And if they're coming out one or two at a time, it's real not great. And these links are trying to get the third base of the railgun, but no, not allowed. Roach is shooing them away. Get out. Mutas deciding to ah, kill the Overseer. So they make their presence known by killing that scouting Overseer. Their wingspan is so big when they are undead mutalisks with holes in their wings. It's bigger, right? And Spore Crawler on the way from Risky at his natural base and his main base and his third. All right, great. So these mutas aren't really going to get a lot done. I don't think. Uh, eventually, we will get Hydra... Seven Spore Crawlers in production. Okay, this might be an overreaction from Risky, but this is kind of how I play, too. If my opponent has Mutas and I know they're coming my way, I will toss down two or three Spore Crawlers per base. Just in case. Just in case. And yeah, I don't... I mean, Spore Crawler kills one immediately. It was already wounded. I'm not sure if Risky target fired that down, but if he did, way to go. A very impressive maneuver there to target fire down the wounded mutalisk amongst the flock when they stack like this. Yeah, there's queens chasing these dudes around. There's spores there. These, I mean, they're not. There's another spore down here. I mean, sure, maybe you have map control. Like maybe Risky can't move out at this point, but he's up 65 to 55 harvesters. You invested a lot in these mutas, and they're getting literally nothing done. I don't think they've killed anything at this point. I guess they did kill the overseer and the changeling back at Railgun's base, but that was it. Lurker den. 11 more hiders in production here. For Risky, this is going to get real bad for Railgun real fast. He's going to be able to push with these Hydras very soon. Uh, especially considering they will almost have plus two missile attack very, very shortly here. The Queen count by Risky is actually getting kind of insane. With a total of eight. And the Lurker Den is going to be interesting too. All right, Roach, man. Here we go. So it is not Mass Muta, obviously. There's five and then there's 29 Roaches. So the Roaches are coming across the map. They do not have plus one attack yet, but they're working on it. It is just about complete. Uh, fourth base on the way here from Risky, and it's just Hydra's. I don't think just Hydra is going to do much against this many roaches right about now. If we take a look at army supply, it's 4,700 for Railgun and 4,200 for Risky. He's making some Ravagers. I don't know if he's aware of this army in particular, but some Ravagers do seem like a pretty good choice. Also, some Lurkers, if at all possible, would be great. Immediately throwing down three Lurkers. But Railgun gets in before the Lurkers are done. Corosobile's going down, getting dodged ably there by the Risky Spore Crawler. Target fired down so as not to be able to kill any more of those Mutalisks. Nice concave, though, by Risky. I like how he pulled back in to get that better angle of attack. Corosobile's landing, getting a couple hits there. Oop. Couple hiders get picked off by those things, but not too bad. The Mutas want to join the party now to Kachink Kachink. Where are those Lurkers at? He needs the Lurkers to be involved here. And they're, where are they? I don't know where they went. Did he cancel them? Either way, this is look. He, he did cancel them. Oh, he needed the hiders, I guess. Either way, Crossbows are continuing to hit here. Railgun doing excellent work with his attack, pulling the drones to absorb some shots. Crossbows forcing everybody back, killing a queen. This is a pretty intense attack here from the Railgun. It's now 145 to 111 total supply. Trying to stutter step forward. Crossbows, so many Ravagers here, though. From the Railgun, reinforcing with additional roaches. We're coming down strong. Plus one missile attack is done. Plus two missile attack is done for Risky, but he's just outnumbered right now, is the problem. Cross Biles taking down an Overseer. He seriously really could use a Lurker or two here. I can't believe he canceled those. He's making a couple of them. He's trying to hold this with the Lurkers. Railgun, does, uh, does he have Overseers? He does have Overseers. No, those are Risky's Overseers. They're red. Ah, he's got one. He's got one spiky Overseer back there. This is looking real bad for Risky. Lurker burrows in, getting some nice shots off. And if he can focus down that Overseer with the remaining hiders that he has, I think there are four of them. It'd be a really, really good thing. Once again, dodge. Oh, did he kill his own? Oh, he killed Risky's Overseers with the Corrosive Biles. Amazing job. Continuing to pump roaches. Continuing to reinforce from clear across the map. Here is the Railgun. Overseer killed again. Risky focusing down the Overseer, and yes, does focus down the Overseer. No detection at the front, which means Lurkers can possibly move up if they're very, very careful about it. 
This has just been the battlefield for the last 10 minutes, it feels like. Okay, it just hit 10 minutes on the game clock, but still. Corosa Bile's hitting one of the lurkers down there. That is the nice thing about Corosa Bile is you don't have to see your target to hit it. If you know where it is, you can hit it with the Corosa Bile, assuming it doesn't move, which that one did. Railgun picking off a Hydra that was going who knows where. Reinforcing Hydra coming from that fourth base location. It's 49 to 55 Harvesters. This is just insane levels. Insane levels of attacking here. Risky's APM is currently over 500. Railguns is over 300 right now. Oh, bit of a breather, but no. Railgun says there's no rest for the wicked. Trying to get that lurker. I think he missed, or perhaps he was aiming for Larva there. Seems entirely possible. And Hydra's at the front. Not where they want to be. I can't believe Railgun hasn't been able to win this thing, but the lurkers are causing him problems, I think. Lurkers are doing damage. Five kills on that one. Any Overseers yet? Still no Overseers. I would love to see the Lurkers move forward or additional Lurkers show up. Look at him canceling those Roaches that were in production there. That was incredible. Oh, but two Overseers now joining the battle. <laughs> this game. Oh, oh, the intensity thus far. I don't know how these guys are doing it. I would have given up a long time ago. I was like, all right. Uh, the aggression is too much, but Risky, no, Risky is much more mental fortuitedness than I am. He is able to handle these situations a lot more ably than I am capable of. Trying to kill that Overseer. It is an Overseer mode. Oversight mode. I always forget what that is. Oh, well, it's dead now. Anyway, yeah, Oversight. Oversight picks off a Lurker that was unburrowed there. Nicely done by the Railgun, but it's 56 to 44 Harvesters. I just don't... See how Risky does this thing. The upgrades do favor Risky's. That's the one thing he has going for him is the plus two, plus two. Oh, Stutter stepping forward here. Ugh, Stutter stepping forward here. Stutter stimming forward here? I, I was thinking it was Terran for a second. I don't know. I got three kids. Brain cells are dying every day, you guys. But the stories I could tell you. Cross the Biles of his own. No. Oh, by the Risky trying to kill that Overseer. Dodging and attacking forward here. Is he actually going to win this battle? Reinforcements coming down for Railgun, but later than they usually are. Yeah, nine roaches in production. Oh, and somehow, some way, I think Risky just saved all of his bases and is chasing the Railgun away. Additional reinforcements are coming down now, though. That plus two, plus two by Risky, I think, is what he can thank for that saving, that saving his butt thing. Uh, this lurker has seven kills. This one has eight. Yeah, the lurkers too. I mean, he barely got those things down. Barely had them ready for the attack when it came. More lurkers coming in, and it's only an 18-second morph, but it feels like a long time when a big army is barreling down on your fourth base location. Fourth base coming up for Railgun, but it's a little bit late. I feel like lurkers burrowed on in. Corosa Bile not hitting much of anything there. Not the greatest target fire. Where's the detection for Railgun? I don't know. I don't think he has it. I don't think he has the detection. Corosa Bile. Oh, nice dodge, though, man. Lurker dodged. A bit of an overkill there. Burrowing back in. Getting some nice spawns off. Oh! Killing one of the Lurkers as it was above ground. And not that it matters, right? Corsa Bile hits burrowed and non-burrowed Lurkers equally. There's no difference in damage taken there. Oh. Let's see if we can go to... Oh, man. Killing more eggs there. Railgun really target firing those things. Resources lost 18,000 for Railgun and 16,000 for the Railgun. Somehow... Or for <laughs> Risky... Roach counterattack by Risky, though. Not going particularly well, as Railgun had a ton of roaches pop at just the right time for him. And they are just retreating for their lives. The exact same move speed. They both have the Glial Reconstitution. Risky. Time to go into hive tech, he says. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling alive. Feeling like I'm keeping Railgun's attention elsewhere. I can tech up to hive here. Maybe drone up a little bit, too. He's only got 44 workers on four bases at the 14-minute mark. I know he's lost. Okay, lost 19 drones. That's more than I thought he would have. He would have gotten killed. Well, that's okay. I think he's going to be all right. I do like the four bases he's on. The fourth base is popped for Railgun. It is being somewhat saturated with five drones, which I assume are on their way. Yes, in fact, they are. And here comes the Railgun knocking down these rocks, leading into that fourth base location for Risky. Risky sees it. He's got lurkers on the top of the ramp, sort of. Uh, they're trying to burrow in positions that are more advantageous. Oh, that one is going to die. Yep, Crossbow taking that one down. If you're going to make it that obvious. Oh, Changeling's coming up the ramp, too. Instantly killed by Risky, though. Maybe one more. Yeah. Changeling's down. So Railgun does not have a good idea of what's up at the top of that ramp right now. Oversight mode on that. Overseer allowing him to see the lurkers. And Risky here to meet Railgun as he tries to flank around the right side. Another lurker has been killed here. That is how many lurkers have died so far. 
Uh, three, only three, but wow, Railgun really going for it here. Crossbow's going down, trying to kill the Lurkers, trying to kill the Hatch. He's going to get the fourth, and in fact, he does. In fact, he does get that fourth, and the army is looking pretty big and scary here. Spore Crawler trying to hit that Overseer. Railgun is smelling blood. He smells blood in the water here. He's attacking into this thing. This Lurker back here continuing to spine, though, already has four kills. It's 133 to 112 total supply. Grossobile's trying to kill any Lurkers that might exist. This guy finally abandoning the fourth base entirely. And there is a Roach attack up here at Railgun's third base location. He's plus two Roaches, man. They can do work. I cannot believe Railgun has not taken plus two yet. Risky. Getting some revenge. Taking a few of the drones on the other side of the map here. Five drones have now gone down for Railgun. Not a lot. But every little bit helps. If you're not going to do something because it's not game-ending damage, you're not playing the game right. You should take every bit of damage that you can find. Crossabiles trying to kill that Overlord of Riskies. That's just attack. That's just scouting. Ah, these guys are coming home from their commando attack on the other side of the map, and they're getting whittled down from behind there. That hurts. 147 to 112 total supply. Railgun is up. Worker count is fairly similar, and these lurkers, I just feel like, are game changers. I just feel like the Lurkers have done a ton of work here against Railgun's largely Roach army. It's a lot of Roaches. He has a few Ravagers here too, seven of them. Is there another attack? Another attempted attack by Risky up here at this third base location. He's just picking off drones and doesn't care who's hitting him. Actually, he's going to focus on the Roaches who are trying to kill him. Railgun says, all right, this is ridiculous. I'm going to kill your drones that are long distance mining from this fourth base location. This Roach is still alive. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, it was... He's almost, whew, almost still alive. This Ravager count is just getting a little bit out of control here for the Railgun. 15 Ravagers and 13 Roaches. Sheesh. Across the Biostorms, left and right and front and center. Lurker's getting some shots off, but then getting picked off by the Bile. As we've seen for the entire game thus far. Detection, good. Really good. Railgun's up 186 to 135 total supply. I just don't see Risky hanging on here. Are there seriously roaches? There's seriously roaches back at the fourth base of Railgun somehow. Risky keeps sneaking them across the map. Railgun doesn't see them coming. And what is this thing? Oh, it's an overlord for Risky just scouting the natural base of the Railgun. Both players throwing the Corosa Biles down. Overseer gets picked off almost by accident. I'm not sure whose bile that was. I assume it was Risky's. Because it did get the kill. We'll give him the credit for that one. Railgun just playing the corrosive bile game, man. Not really committing. Getting in close enough to toss those down. And then retreating from it. <laughs> like some kind of elaborate dance. In. Corrosive bile. Out. Cha-cha-cha. And is he going to get the natural hatch? He's been working on killing the natural. There it goes. For the last eight minutes at least. And that's going to spell it for Risky. 150 to 63 total supply. Suddenly that hatch going down opens the floodgates. Railgun's able to steamroll. Throws down to the told you, I am the Roach Man. <laughs> it's not a great nickname. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you here, but why are... Oh, no. Risky. Risky, no. Not the BM. Oh, Risky, why? Why would you do such a thing? And Railgun leaves the game, too, as the winner. Wow, that was not nice. That was not nice of you, Risky. Say nice things to people. He's not kidding. Railgun ended up losing 205 roaches. Risky lost 171. It's not like he didn't make any roaches at all. 29,000 resources lost for Railgun. 32 for the Risky. Uh, two hatches down. That was, I mean, that was it. You kill buildings. You kill hatcheries of your opponent and keep your own. You're going to be okay. Still 20 drones went down for Railgun, but he killed 42. So War of Attrition here. Both players taking a lot of damage, but Railgun just doing more. I'd say just better micro. Even though Risky's APM was higher, Railgun's ability to throw down those corrosive piles and dance back and dodge everything and just keep doing it and keep throwing that pressure down without overcommitting to it was just ridiculous. Ridiculous to behold. <sighs> All right, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.